Hello, I am Dr. Navya, consultant pediatrician at Pace Hospital, High Tech City, Hyderabad. Mumps is a viral infection most commonly seen in children. Mumps is caused by RNA virus belonging to paramyxoviridae family. The incubation period of mumps is 7 to 21 days. That is the duration between the exposure to virus and the onset of signs and symptoms. Mumps is transmitted through airborne droplet infection when an infected person sneezes or coughs and it also be transmitted through a contaminated saliva. The signs and symptoms seen in mumps are fever, headache, muscle aches, tiredness, weakness. But the classic hallmark symptoms seen in mumps are parotitis that is swelling of the parotid gland. It is seen as swelling at the jaws. It can be one side or it also can be seen on both the sides. The complications seen in mumps are meningitis that is inflammation of the meninges, encephalitis that is inflammation of the brain, orchitis and operitis that is inflammation of the testis in boys and inflammation of the ovaries in girls. These complications are very rarely seen in mumps. Mumps is diagnosed clinically based on the history and physical examination. Lab confirmatory tests are usually not needed. But in doubtful cases, laboratory tests can be done, that is RT-PCR of oral secretions and serum antibodies for the confirmation of mumps. There is no specific treatment for mumps. Supportive care can be given, that is fever medication and analgesics for the pain and cold or hot compression for the swelling of the jaw. Vaccine is available for mumps as MMR shot. Indian Academy of Pediatrics recommends three doses of MMR vaccine. That is first dose at nine months, second dose at 15 months, and third dose that is a booster dose between four to six years of age. Mumps can be prevented by vaccination. As already told, three doses of MMR vaccine should be given. That is first at nine months, second at 15 months, and third between four to six years of age. This three doses of MMR vaccine prevents a child from mumps infection. The symptoms of mumps usually last up to one to two weeks. Yes, mumps is a communicable disease. It is transmitted from person to person through airborne droplets when an infected person sneezes or coughs and it also transmitted through a contaminated saliva. Meningitis is a rare complication seen in mumps, that is inflammation of the meninges. Most of the children vaccinated with MMR vaccine is protected from the mumps. Rarely, children who are immunocompromised or who are on immunosuppressant drugs like chemotherapy are susceptible to infection in spite of vaccination. Children who are not vaccinated, who lives in a crowded area, and children who are immunocompromised or on immunosuppressant drugs like chemotherapy are more susceptible to mumps. Both mumps and chickenpox are viral infections. Chickenpox is caused by varicella zoster virus. The common symptoms seen in chickenpox are fever, itchy blister-like rashes which starts over the chest first and it spreads over the face, back and all over the body. There is no specific treatment for chickenpox, same as mumps. But supportive care can be given. Chickenpox can be prevented by vaccination. Varicella vaccine is given as two doses. First vaccine at 15 months and second vaccine to be given between 18 to 19 months of age. Both mumps and measles are viral infections. The symptoms seen in measles are running nose, cough, redness of eyes, watery eyes, low-grade fever. The rashes in measles start posterior to the ears, spreads to the face, and throughout the body. There is no specific treatment for measles as well. Supportive care can be given. Measles is also protected under MMR vaccination. MMR vaccine protects the child both from the mumps and measles. When your child has symptoms of fever, headache, body ache, lethargy, tiredness, and with the classic hallmark symptom of swelling over the jaws, better consult a pediatrician.